U.S. Senator Martha McSally spending the whole day in Yuma. She met with veterans and even making an appearance at a Latinos for Trump truck rally. 13 on your side's Cody Lee spent most of the day with the senator and he joins us live in studio with more. Cody? Good evening, April. McSally is hoping to keep her seat in the U.S. Senate by getting votes from those of Yuma County here. She spoke with many organizations this afternoon in hopes of gaining voters and even swaying independents. Senator Martha McSally campaigning in Yuma today, bringing on the heat as we're weeks away from knowing who wins a seat in the United States Senate. As you know, I've been out here many times, so returning to Yuma to talk to voters, to make sure they understand my record of fighting for Yuma, fighting for Arizona, fighting for our country, lower taxes, a strong economy, border security, getting funding for the port of entry, supporting our men and women in Border Patrol and the men and women in law enforcement. The senator joined many other GOP candidates at a truck rally hosted by the Latinos for Trump group. She spoke in front of a large crowd in a Foothills shopping center parking lot. McSally also braced the heat to door knock in a few Yuma neighborhoods. As I followed the senator, many people answering the doors were independent voters. As you saw when I was uh, engaging with these independent voters, I asked, what's important to you? What do you care about? And many of them said the economy, jobs, border security, Second Amendment. And so we talked about that. We talked about my record on those issues. And you, you saw the vast majority of them, like 9 out of 10, were like, I'm with you. I'm voting for you. With polls showing Mark Kelly in a hefty lead, the current senator says otherwise. There's a lot of fake polls out there. Uh, it's not my job to analyze polls. I'm just telling you internally we are dead heat. And this is a battleground state. It will decide the Senate majority. So we're neck and neck. People are voting already. And I'm here in Yuma fighting for every last vote. Later in the day, the campaign traveled to Yuma County's agricultural routes, meeting with well-known farm owner Mark Smith. Representative Tim Dunn joining McSally also. Senator McSally understands it. She, she's already been working with our irrigation districts on getting funding to help remodel the dam. That's a major project we're working on that's going to help have the water flowing here so that we can ship 90% of the vegetables in the country coming from Yuma. McSally then held an intimate socially distance event at Champion Church. She spoke, she spoke on her life growing up as a spiritual person and then answered questions, one pertaining to mask wearing. If masks work, then why isn't everything open back up? And if they don't work, then why can't we take them off our face? But this is a first in a century pandemic, right? It's a novel virus. We've worked we learned a lot about it because China lied. And on the topic, I asked the senator what's going on in the Senate as COVID relief talks are looming. Here's what she said. But I don't see my opponent out here in the heat knocking on doors. I'm going to give everything I got to engage with voters to ensure they know what's at stake. McSally will head to the Capitol in a few days and is not set to return to Arizona until the election day. So the campaign definitely making an effort to uh, make as many stops as they can until she heads out for the Coney Barrett Senate confirmation hearings. And I should mention her opponent, Democratic candidate Mark Kelly, he campaigned in person in the Phoenix area today. Reporting in Yuma, Cody Lee, 13 on your side. Thanks for that report, Cody.